Colorado State has announced that they have fired Steve Adazio after just two years. His buyout dropped today, or sorry, on uh, Thursday, December 2nd. And as soon as the contract stipulated that the buyout dropped to $3 million, they went ahead and pulled the plug. Everybody kind of saw this coming. Really, honestly, in his first season, things just did not go well. He was not a very good fit. And you can get away with not being a good fit at a program if you are an exceptional head coach. But he did not get along even with his own staff. He didn't get along with the administration there. This was a weird situation anyway. And now it appears, of course, Urban Meyer was involved in the last coaching search. Urban Meyer will not be involved in this one. Obviously, he is an NFL head coach now. He's not just being consultant uh, everywhere across the board. But... um. But yeah, they have announced that they're uh, they're hiring a national search firm. There will be a national search, etc. This is not a bad job in in the G five if they get the right guy, right? They've got the investment from the community. They've got boosters. They have an incredible stadium. They have facilities. They've got everything that you could possibly need to be successful in the Mountain West Conference. I, I would imagine they are going to take their time and make sure that they get this one correct. Uh, what are your feelings on Adazio being out in Fort Collins? No, I mean I think it's justified. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to say it other than that. I think you know it was, it was not working, and and Steve needs to go. Yes, yes. Uh, the, we we saw uh, towards the end of the season him getting booted out of uh, out of a ball game in the first half for two unsportsmanlike conduct penalties, and I mean you just don't see that kind of stuff from a head coach. But things were unraveling quickly. We, in the past, we've been somewhat against pulling the trigger quickly on on people, or at least I have. But it, we're getting to a point now where you can tell early. If it ain't going in the right direction, you better just cut bait. But what you're saying all the time, uh, if you know you got a losing hand, just fold it, right? Like, yeah, as soon as, you, as soon as you know you have a losing hand, fold it. Yeah. I don't care what it costs you, just fold it. And then start over. Like, and that's that's exactly yeah. what they're going to do. I don't have any names for them as of right now. There's a lot of different coordinators, a lot of different uh, lower-level coaches that would fit really, really well here. And I think the name that ends up being the head guy could actually surprise people if they if they go the right route. Because I think a lot of people are interested in this job because of the investment that goes into it, right? So we'll uh, we'll see what happens there. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.